Diesel filters in your car. Tenor, a must. Start, runs, better performance, so simple to do. What's today's video about? Facebook Marketplace sales here in the UK. I don't know about any other countries, but definitely here. It's not a new con, I know. The old con was where you meet someone in a car park and you drive home and find out the car's a real bad banger, you know. Um, but that's down for you to look at. The new one's about deposits. I've just recently looked at a car today on Facebook Marketplace sales and it's generally cheaper, you know, and that's what catches you up. That's a really good bargain. There are some bargains to be had out there, but there's also some worrying cons, and I believe this was one of them. So you contact the person, they get back to you, and they say, look, I've got a lot of people interested in it. So well, I'm interested, can I come and get me there? I'm at work, or I'm out walking a dog or something. You know, uh, put a deposit down, and that's where the scam starts. They've got you hooked, so you think, well, I'll give you a deposit. Check out their profile. You can always go down and check out the name and the commercial profile. Then these to their normal profile. And then you'll find what I've just found. The person's profile was only made a day ago. And the picture was only added a day ago. Or there's some other little pictures of horses or never them. It's the first thing to check. A legitimate person will have proper photographs and they're going to be some years old as well. I know they can update them as well, but you see when they update the pictures. That's what first alerted me to it. And they said to me, I'm out. I'm at work. I've got lots of people interested in it, you know, catching you in. If you put a deposit down, I'll mark it as sold or I'll hold it for you. Another little scam. You think, yeah, I'll, I'll pay it. Here's where it gets a bit simpler because I had this a little while ago, another car. And that's why I thought I needed this video for you guys, just so you know. This person was a young lad. On the phone as well to me, giving it all blah, blah, up, up north, but it was supposed to be in Cambridge. When he said to me, it's his brother-in-law, it was his cars or his vans, but it is his brother-in-law. When he sent me the account details to pay the £100 deposit, it wasn't his name. So I pretended that my bank wouldn't pay it. Um, and I said, what bank was it? I said, send me your bank details or your name. Oh, I haven't got one. Who hasn't got a bank account nowadays? So he sent me the driver's mate. I wouldn't do it. Same as you guys shouldn't do this. Make sure the name on the account they give you tallies up with the name they're supposed to be on Facebook sales. At least if it tallies up, at least be a bit more legitimate. But the fact is, just don't do it. I said to the person, I'll meet you at your house, I'm at work. I said, when you're there, didn't want to tell me, but I wasn't first, they let me know later. There's all these little bits of cons. So I'm just gonna say to you guys now, don't do it, don't get conned. I've heard a few other people getting conned now. One lad, 500 quid, trying to get their money back. PayPal do have a little bit there, but even if so, Western Union, a couple of these Monzo accounts now and everything else, you can pay without any names nowadays. You're never going to get the money back. The police aren't interested because you sent them the money. So there you go. Short video, marketplace sales, bit of a minefield as it was having a car that wouldn't run or you get halfway down the road and they won't answer you. That's always been the usual bits. They won't pick up the phone to you and everything else. But now there's another... £100, £200 you're going to get conned out of. Police aren't interested, as I said. It's just hard times. Don't get conned. So if it smells, looks too good to be true, it is, move on. All right? Unless you get their phone number, their name, and all the other bits you feel safe about, go and visit them. Ask the deposits, just move on to the next one. Nice and simple. I'll do another video for you guys asking where I've been. Got some problems. I'm still potting around like I always do, and the wife's still holding the camera. I've still got my dog, still a bit smelly. Anyway, listen, short video. Be careful out there. Stay safe on the road. Mark Savage out. Bye bye.